being in the movie Dope, it definitely has changed my lifestyle a lot, you know. Just being in different places or being in my hometown, Atlanta, you know, I might go to Lennox Small, I might go to Atlantic Station, you know. Everybody usually just knows me because I'm a rapper, but it, it's real cool, you know, to get noticed as an actor. Like, oh, you played in Dope. That shit cool, for real. And it's another world, and I'm definitely trying to get in that world, you know, trying to act some more. It's definitely cool. The opportunity came from just me being good friends with Pharrell. That's like my big bro. And um, I remember one time he just hit me and he was like, uh, he told me they was working on the movie Dope. And basically he was like, you know, I think you should play this character name for Dale. Like you'll kill that shit. He told the director and I just auditioned and I got it. So that was pretty cool. I know the movie, the whole movie, it took about 60 days or less or more. But uh, my part just took like a half a day. I came in about six in the morning, started probably 10 a.m. Left at about six, seven, it took a little minute. So me being homies with Pharrell, I learned, I learned being humble. Like, you know, Pharrell so big, you would think that he'll be like a jackass, but bro real humble. Like, we all just people though, but you know, people who you'll call regular, like I see him talk to people. And like, he talked to everybody the same, you know, in a nice way. He's very humble, you know, he don't let nothing get to his head. I asked him questions about like, you know, certain trends, people working out, like Bape, the skateboard looks, all that, that he been did. Like, what you think about that, man? Like, you been did that. How you feel? He was like, oh, it's all good. You know, I just do it for the fun of it, man. It's all good. Like, he don't say nothing negative. He all, he cool then. Another thing I learned from being homies with Pharrell, just being in the studio, like he a genius, the way like he'll hear a beat and like he'll like kind of freestyle everything, like his melodies, he'll just go in the booth, and he'll hear something as soon as it come on, like just start doing shit in his head and he'll go in the booth and he'll just say it. And I'll be like, how the hell you come up with that so fast, man? And I got that from him, like now me, like, I go in the I go in the studio, I hear a beat, I'm like picking up melodies. I just learned a lot, you know, and I go in the booth, like I don't even gotta write no more, but I still write my music though, just cause I wanted to be perfected. But yeah, I learned a lot though from bro. Labels are trying to make the token Mexican right now. And it's just, it's so corny. I swear to God, I want to just slap whoever's doing it. Not the person, not the artist. I want to slap whoever's telling them to do this because it's like. I saw that and um, after the talent show, you know, girls were coming up to me and they were saying like, oh, you can actually sing. I was like, I can sing. So from there on, I just, you know, started to take it more seriously. High school, man, I was the. But I ran into this African cat, man, and I asked him, do you know where the weed was at? He was a little sketchy at first, but you know, I was like, you know, I ain't no cop. You can tell by my swag, I ain't, ain't no cop over here. He told me to holler at some dude not in college. Don't listen to uh, naysayers. Don't listen to labels or people who suggest that you should do things a certain way, make music a certain way. Really stay true to yourself. 